Howdy, 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 everybody. Gomer here, and uh, we're going to talk a little bit about the Mega Man DOS games. Um, I, I, it, uh, basically, I, I'm putting this after uh, three DOS is done, but it really encompasses both of them, because both of them have a lot of the same problems, and there's only two of them, so, <laughs> so that's fine and dandy. Um, biggest issue I have, especially with three, are some of the controls. Um, the swimming controls, as you've heard me rant and rave about, um, as I was actually playing, oh god, those are some horrible swimming controls. I mean, the controls in Mega Man 8 for swimming aren't too awful bad. They're a little tighter and not, not as buttery as they are in Mega Man 3 for the PC. Um, in both games, I went and found out, and went and did some research myself, and found out that both Mega Man and Mega Man 3 for the PC have this issue of when you're going up, you know, you're like climbing a ladder, being shot up by a propeller, whatever. Uh, you, it doesn't scroll until you're damn near at the top of the screen. Now, for the original Mega Man for PC, that's fine. You don't see that very often. And I think there's maybe one or two instances where it could be an issue. Uh, like like a major issue. Um, but in Mega Man 3 PC, I've seen, I saw so many instances of where, you know, you get to a top of a ladder and suddenly there's an enemy there that you didn't see before. They don't even spawn until you, like, almost run on top of them. Which is it's really bad game design. It adds to the fake difficulty. Um, another thing about... Uh, I, I will give Mega Man 3 PC some credit. They tried some new things. The swimming is a new thing they tried. Um, you know, having a big layout for a level with, with like, multi-directional you know, scrolling and everything. Like a Mega Man X game eventually would perfect. Um, you know, that was something different and new. Um... And thankfully, not a lot of gotcha traps for that either. Um, uh, you know, in terms of like instant death, there's like maybe one or two instances of that in uh, Mega Man 3 PC, not counting like the the instant death uh, um, acid pits, which thankfully, you know, they don't make you stay in there. Uh, they ignore mercy and visibility. I say thankfully because that would just draw it out and be a little more tedious than it should be. Um, you know. Um, in terms of like the Robot Master designs, Mega Man PC, they, they put some effort into the Robot Master designs and their powers and everything. Um, here for Mega Man 3 is like they just took some base, took a basic design and just like copy pasta it all over the place. Uh, which would be fine, uh, which could be fine if not for the fact that most of the boss AIs are just, you know, hop around, hop around, hop around, only attack if you're at a wall, you know. Uh, Bitman obviously will give you some challenge. Waveman will give you a little bit of challenge because he's not quite like that. The others are pretty similar in that they won't attack unless they're against the wall, which is really stupid. <coughs> <coughs> oh. So uh, yeah, it's, it's so stupid. It made me sneeze. I'm allergic to it, apparently. <laughs> uh. So, um, uh, as far as Mega Man, Mega Man for the PC, yeah, he doesn't look... Now, obviously, he's not going to look like his NES counterpart. Um, even though they had permission from Capcom to do it, he's not going to look like his NES counterpart. Um, but at least Mega Man 3, they got the colors a little bit better on Mega Man. Um, when, when you're playing in the, in the proper version, I say proper version, quote unquote. Um, uh, and I played I played using a uh, I played using like the combination uh, Joy to Key and the, the uh, gamepad. But if you're playing with a keyboard, um, you have the you, you have J as jump and space as fire. Uh, that's how I played as a kid, and I still managed to beat it. But it's oh god, it's such a pain in the ass. Uh, I mean, and it, and it does have built-in joystick support, so it's not like you have to use the keyboard. But if you don't have a joystick, um, you're kind of screwed. Uh, oh man. But um. Well, yeah, in, in terms of like the last levels in both PC and PC3, uh, they both have the same idea. You go through some level, you fight a robot master. Um, the the PC one is is you know, I, I kind of like that. There's only like four bosses, four major bosses, and each like is like it, like goes one way. You fight a boss, go one way, and then so on, so on, forth and down. I kind of like that. I I kind of like that design. Um, Wily level in PC3, it just goes all over the goddamn place. With so many unfair traps and falls, holy shit! Uh, very little uh, opportunity to really refill yourself without farming. Even if you can farm, there's not a lot of enemies you can kill. And enemies don't come back. Uh, they don't respawn as, as often as you would think they would. 
even in, even for a Mega Man game. I think PC, the original one, had more respawning enemies. Um, uh, so yeah, um, <laughs> uh, I don't I don't remember it being this. I think in the original PC Mega Man game, you could keep your energy tanks. Uh, not so in Mega Man 3 PC, which is a bit of an annoyance. Uh, I mean, I know you want to make it a little bit more difficult. You want to make it more worth somebody's time. But that's, that's, that's a lot of fake difficulty in PC3. Um, you know, honestly, I think in, in terms of just playability, both of them are, 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 are vastly inferior to the rest of the Mega Man games. Um, but in terms of just the two of them themselves, uh, the Mega Man PC, I think, is probably more superior to its sequel, especially since it looks like there was more time put into it. Like, um, and, and for, for crying out loud, like when you select a Robot Master, in Mega Man PC One, you get you got, like a little thing with you know you get a little preview of what the Robot Master looks like, his name, and then you go to the level. Um, in PC Three, it just freezes up and you go to the level. It's like, come on, really? Oh, and I know somebody made like a remake based on the two DOS games where Wave Man is a uh, secret character. Um, I've tried playing it. Uh, might I might just need to get a later version, but it wasn't as you know. It's not looking too good at the moment. But again, like I said, I probably just need to get a later version. Um, but yeah, those. Um, I think that's. I think that's about it for uh, my thoughts uh, on those, at least in depth. Uh, it, overall, basically, um, if you want to give them a shot and really you know torture yourself, get them. Uh, the first PC game, it's not horrible. It's har it's hard to get used to. Uh, there was a lot of unfairness, but uh, Mega Man 3 PC just cranks that up. Um, you know, it takes it up to 11 and beyond. So, um, so yeah. Uh, at least, at least they're abandonware. So it's not like if you get it, you, you're only using up time and maybe hard drive space, and not even much of those at that. <laughs> uh, uh, three even wouldn't be so bad if if it toned down some of the unfairness and even had like a save or password system. Uh, because, you know, the first one, you know, there's four levels, you know, you can complete that in an afternoon, no big deal. Um, but three, if, if you have things you gotta do, then you gotta do it all in one sitting, which is how I did both of those videos. It's like, it took me an entire afternoon to do three, you know, and, and I say an afternoon for one, but, um, but then again, I, cause I know not everybody is able to blaze through it like I kinda can. Um, you know, so not everybody can do that. Um, but yeah, that is gonna be it for this one. Uh, next, uh, the next one, who knows? Uh, whenever the next series finishes up, um, as it looks on my schedule right now, the next one's gonna be Earthbound. So uh, <laughs> that's gonna be that's gonna be coming in a couple of weeks. Um, either Earthbound or the Guardian Legend. I think Guardian Legend does come before Earthbound. So um, either way, one of those is gonna be next because uh, they're gonna be wrapping up very very soon within the next couple of weeks. So. Um, so yeah, uh, thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you liked it, hit the like button down over there. And if it's set up in the, in the right way to do it, uh, you can share it with your friends that way too. If you want to see more videos like this, uh, hit the subscribe button, which is over there. And if you want, you can leave a comment down below. All I ask is please don't be a dick. <laughs> uh, if you want to support videos like these, there are two ways you can do it. Uh, you can either go to the RT Gomer Production store, which the link is down in the doobly-doo, or you can support me directly through Patreon, patreon.com slash gomer21xx. And if you throw enough money at me on, through that, I will, I will throw some ad space for you up here on the end of these videos. So take care, folks, and until next time, this is Gomer, the Ranting Thespian, signing off.